I get it. It's just very hard to focus. I get it. I understand it. What's hard to focus? To focus on concentrating on being happy and concentrate on well peace. concentrate on being happy that that that's <laughs> that, <laughs> there's there's a uh, opposite going on in that i'm going to i'm i'm going to concentrate <laughs> on being happy i'm going to be happy damn it There's a little tension there. <laughs> Where I'm I'm going to relax into being happy. I'm I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to I'm just going to I'm just going to let it be for a while. I'm going to stop beating the drum of this. Um and so here's what we've noticed. When you really really want something, you've been thinking about it for a while. And so and the more you think about something, the more the energy flows, the more the momentum flows. And so there is a the more specific you get the more momentum flows so when you really 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 want something you get a lot of momentum going but when what you really really want is really really not happening then there is a momentum so that that's moving in the opposite direction so there's a tension in all of that so the way you release the tension is by becoming less specific the the less you talk about it the less tension there will be and the less specifically you talk about it the less tension there will be So what we've noticed is that if you take a specific subject that isn't working out for you right now this red hot minute the way you want it to and you try to speak of it as it stands it's like our friend earlier who was talking about the glasses was very specific about what's going on weren't you impressed with the specifics of of not realizing what he was doing was specifically working against him but it was very specific in the process and you were to a degree here quite specific about that too and those specifics are working against you so you want to become more general so specifically negative will hold you for a long time an indefinite time away from what you want generally negative is closer to what you want you can get from generally negative to generally positive really easily you can't get from specifically negative to specifically positive easily that the frequency is too far apart so if you go general even though you're still negative then it's easier to go general positive and then from general positive you can get more specifically positive and then you're off and running what we would like to say with all of this is that in the making peace with it that that's the releasing of resistance but it's not very specific at all you don't have to be you don't have to know how it's going to come when it's going to come who's going to bring it who you're going to rendezvous with you don't have to know the specifics of the things that you want to manifest you just have to stop offering the contradictory energy that is keeping the vortex from being able to to reveal to you what is already there to be revealed did that make any sense to you Yes. So we're going to make a strong statement and then we'll show you how to move general into the general. The vortex contains vibrationally everything that you want. Mm -hmm. And is offering that vibration which you are not rendezvousing with because you're in a different place. When you stop doing that thing you're doing that's keeping you from rendezvousing, you'll rendezvous. So when the tension is gone which is what the making peace with where you are does then the vortex just takes you in and the first thing the first manifestation that occurs yes the first manifestation that occurs when you get into the vortex is an emotional manifestation you feel good now you got to accept emotion as a manifestation and it and it's got to be because it's the reason you want everything so it's the biggest manifestation of all it's the most significant significant manifestation of all is what everyone is reaching for it's the reason that you exist it's the reason that you do every single thing is the reason that you rendezvous with every single person everything you do is for the emotional manifestation and that's available to you right now when you go into the vortex which is right now as soon as you stop doing that thing you're doing that's keeping you from going into the vortex So you're saying easier said than done and we say just chill just relax it's doing nothing how is doing nothing so hard for you <laughs> it's the efforting that's keeping you from from being in that accepting worthy allowing place
vibrationally that allows the vortex to then take you in so the first thing that happens the first manifestation that occurs when you let the vortex take you in is you have the emotional rendezvous which is the blending the merging of vibrations which gives you when you have that feeling that means you can see the ant on the sidewalk through the eyes of source that's what it means when you have that merging that means you've merged with infinite intelligence that means your timing's going to be right that means your rhythm's going to be right that means your balance is right that means that everything is lined up for you that means that all things are working in cooperation with you who just now became the cooperative component you see so this emotional manifestation is huge it's the only thing that matters when you accomplish the emotional manifestation every other thing must come into alignment and will it is law it is the law of attraction law it is certain it is for sure it is absolute that's that cell job we said we were going to do everything we can to convince you convince you that this emotional manifestation is what you're reaching for and it's not pie in the sky it's not us just trying to soothe over to make you feel better about not being pregnant oh you can be happy anyway it's not any of that it's that when you make that emotional manifestation be the quest be the goal and you understand that you get there by not trying by not efforting you get there by accepting your worthiness by accepting the perfection of where you stand no matter how absent where you stand is of all of the things you think you want if you can accept the perfection of where you stand love this moment no matter what it is and begin to look for the positive aspects of what it brings the vortex will take you in and the first manifestation will be an emotional improvement and then all kinds of other revelations and we are calling that emotional manifestation a revelation because you've allowed it to be revealed to you every other revelation will come then you start getting clarity of thought then you start allowing the in this case the alignment of what's going on in your body then your rendezvous with your sexual partner happens at just the appropriate time everything lines up and whether it's a financial empire that you're building or wanting the the most pure of creation which is the allowance of another human to come forth from within you it's all exactly the same thing you see thank you so when you stand where you are and you get your eyes off of the floorboards and you're looking toward where you're going who cares who cares where you are when you're on your way to where you're going when you're on your way to where you're going who cares where you are in other words it just couldn't matter less except that when you have had the delicious fortune of standing in a place that you really don't want to be where the contrast is really extreme you put way 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 more into your vortex so you have created a journey that's going to be a rocking and rolling journey once you get moving in the direction of that and that is momentum in other words the more you've wanted something that you don't have the more the potential of that momentum and the more potential of that satis really satisfying adventurous journey is there for you you follow that yes indeed so don't you feel right here and now no angst at all about the currently not being pronounced pregnant because it doesn't matter at all does it matter where you are does it matter it doesn't say it doesn't it, it doesn't does. <laughs> It doesn't matter, does it? It no, doesn't matter. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. matter. It doesn't because because there is always the beginning place of every journey. And every single person was not pregnant before they were. One hundred percent of one hundred percent of pregnancies started just like this. Just like this. It doesn't matter. Good. Thank you. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next video.